So today we're going to be comparing three pins. That is the S pin, the Wildcom One pin, and the Norse Digital pin. And we're going to be testing this thing out on the S8 Ultra. Let's get into it. So for the first pin, we're gonna look at the S Pen. The S Pen is a round pin with one flat side on it. It has a button and it has a rubber-like nib. Uh, most of the nib is hard plastic, but right at the very tip, it's made out of like a sulfur rubber. When you look at the length of it, it's coming in right under six inches. The weight of it, 1.13 ounces. Now my beef with this pen is that it's kind of on the skinny side. So if you have large hands and you like to draw with a tight grip, it's going to be difficult for long term or long sessions drawing without your finger hurting. Now, when it comes down to the feel of this pen, drawing on it or writing on it, it feels soft because of that soft, that small soft rubber on the nib. And because of that, it gives you grip while you're drawing. And you don't necessarily feel the slipperiness of this glass screen. Now let's check out the Wildcom One pen. This pen is a round pen with no flat sides, one button. It is the thicker of the three. I do like the thickness of it. It makes it more comfortable for people with larger hands. When you look at the length of it, it's coming right in at six inches. It's a little bit longer than the S Pen. When you look at the weight, it's coming in at 0.32 ounces. Now, I think the, the major difference between the Wildcom One Pen and the rest of these pens is that the nib is made of hard plastic, all of it. So you really feel the glass screen of this tablet and it can be a bit slippery, but me personally, I like that slippery type of feel. It's almost like you're gliding across the screen when you are coloring or sketching or drawing or writing. Now you can pick this pen up on Amazon for about $29. Link down in the description below. Now let's move along to the Norse Digital Pen. This pen is a hexagon shape, which means it has six flat sides and it looks and of course it's shaped like a pencil. It is longer than the rest of the pens. It's coming in at about seven, little under seven inches. And the weight of it is 0.31 ounces. Now my beef with this pen or digital pencil, whatever you want to call it, is that it is in a hexagon shape and it can kind of dig into your fingers if you draw with a tight grip. So I would recommend getting a pencil grip to put over it to kind of make it more comfortable to actually draw with. Now, when you look at the nib on this pen, it is made of hard plastic, but also the tip is made of like soft plastic, soft rubber. And so it kind of mirrors the S pen a little bit as far as the actual feel of it and you also can get this pen from amazon coming in at 29 dollars now let's look at the use cases for all three of these pens starting from the s pen now the s pen in my opinion is the most all-around pen it is very optimized of course you know it, it came with the tablet but it's very optimized to it when you're drawing on it like i explained before it's very soft it has grip you don't feel the glass screen and so this pen i found more comfortable using when i am sketching or when i'm inking and taking down notes but sketching inking writing and some coloring it does okay with uh as far as the feel of it coloring large blocks of color it's okay but it it, it is the more well-rounded pen out of the three now the Wildcom one pen has that hard nib so it's very slippery you actually feel the slipperiness of the glass screen but it's a good feeling for me because 
it's almost freeing like the stylus just glides over the screen and it gives me um you know sometimes my drawing can be a little bit too stiff and so this kind of gives me um, almost like a freedom. I, I, I really can't explain it, but it, it loosens, it, it kind of loosens me up. So I like this pen for sketching. And I also like this pen for coloring large blocks of, of, of coloring, just simply because the stylus, it, it, it just glides across the screen is almost no resistance and then we have the Norse digital pen which really surprised me because I thought I was gonna use this as sketching I thought this was really gonna shine with sketching just simply because it's it's it looks like a pencil shaped like a pencil and I'm used to drawing with a pencil so I'm like okay yeah I'll use this to sketch and when I tried to sketch on it eh, it, 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 it didn't feel right it didn't feel right at, at all but where it shined at is actually inking or doing line work this thing I, I, I don't and I believe it's because it's a little bit longer but i had so much control over my line work like I, I i never had that much control i had so much control over my line work that you know sometimes i didn't even need to like erase or you know stop halfway and then pick up the line um again on the other side like i didn't have to do so this is where this pen really stands out at and also taking notes is very good with you know just note taking and writing and and stuff like that but let me know down in the comments below which pen y'all rocking with